In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step -step on how you can import products to Shopify from any website you can find online. This could be your Shopify store, this could be another Shopify store, you can import the exact same product to your Shopify store in just a few clicks, okay? This is free, you don't have to pay for subscriptions or anything like that. In just a few, in a few seconds, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this app that we are going to download from the Shopify app store and then start up importing products to your Shopify store. Now, first thing you need to do guys, you wanna log into your Shopify store. That's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to import products to this Shopify store. Now, after you open the dashboard, as you can see the dashboard of your Shopify store, you wanna click on settings at the very bottom left, and you wanna click on apps and sales channels. Now, next thing you wanna do guys, you wanna click on Shopify app store in the top right. It will take you directly guys to Shopify app store as you can see here. Now I want to search for Robo. This is the name of the app that we are going to use to import products. I already uh, showed you guys this app before, but now I'm going to show you guys how you can use it for free and also the features of this app. Now, as you can see, this is the app, it's called the Robo. Click on the app, this is the logo of the app. It's called, the, the full name is Robo Product Importer. Click on that app and then you want to click on install. Now, next thing you need to do guys, you want to click again on install. Just wait for this to load and click again on install here. Now, as you can see, we have successfully installed the Robo app that will help us import, import products from any website. It could be Amazon, AliExpress, uh, Walmart, uh, Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, like all the e-commerce websites you can find alone. Like, uh, like I said, you can also uh, import products from another Shopify store. It could be your Shopify store. You want to import products from that Shopify to another shop because you have two Shopify stores. I hope you guys understand what I mean. I this will make sense in a few seconds. Just click on Git extension here. Like it says here, install our free uh, Chrome extension. Click on Git extension. And you want to click on Add to Chrome. Click on Add extension. And what you guys need to do, you want to pin this extension in the top. How you can do that? It's very, it's very easy and simple. It's very simple, guys, to pin this extension in the top. All you need to do is just wait for it to, as you can see, to be added to your Chrome. I don't know why this is taking so long, so I'm going to reload this. I'm going to click again on Add to Chrome. It says here, this item is already installed. Now, after that, you wanna click here where you can see all your extensions, as you can see here. It seems like the app is not installed yet. I'm going to reload uh, this, and I'm going to click on Add, Add Extension. All right, now the app is now added in the top. Now, you wanna click on where you can see the extension icon, as you can see here. Click on that, and you wanna pin this app this extension in the top okay click on pin this is the icon now you need to go to any e-commerce website you can find online it could be amazon it could be walmart it could be any amazon like any e-commerce website find a product that you want to import and then you want to click on the extension in the top click on add to, to shopify okay click on the extension click on add to shopify and then here you want to verify that everything is correct as you can see here guys, because this is free, it can like, sometimes uh, it makes some uh, mistakes. You just need to verify this. It doesn't always make mistakes. Click on images, click on select all images so that you can select all images that are available in the product. The description, make sure everything is correct. The basic info, you wanna add here the price and stuff like that. After you, f after you finish verifying everything, click on import here, as you can see, and you wanna click on add to Shopify. Now this product is going to be imported to your Shopify. That's I'm going to show you guys this product. Now I'm going to, to go to my Shopify store. I'm going to reload the page. Click on products here. And here this is the product that we have imported from Amazon. You can import the exact same product from any website online. It could be Amazon, Walmart, your own Shopify, another website, a, a customized website, any website you can find online. You can import products to your Shopify. Hopefully this video guys helped you. If it does, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.